Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of Ethereum has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Stochastic RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. By taking a closer look at the hourly time frame for Ethereum, the price went down only slight by about 1.6% in the last 24 hours and has a current price of 3,744. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA. The 100 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 3,755. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA, which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. For longer price development, the daily time frame should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Looking at the hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA. The 50 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 3,750. Looking at the 3 hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Moving to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, the price has crossed the 20 SMA downwards but it's not a very strong signal that the volume hasn't been very high. At the moment, the price is between the 200 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 3,386 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 3,911 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Moving to the daily stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Jumping to the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. See you next.